Hello loves, it's the OG here. Louis Bikeri, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, this is a recap of my 2021. As all of you know, on this platform, I moved from Kenya to England, the United Kingdom. But let us see where it all began, yeah? And I was living in Mombasa, Kenya. Yes, the city of slow motion. <laughs> yeah, so this is where I used to go watching movies. Nyali Cinemax, yes. So I think I shot this video when the cinema was celebrating 10 years of being in business. And it was amazing, amazing. So if you haven't seen these videos, what are you waiting for? All in my videos, guys. All in my videos. Then came the food, testing, hotel reviews. You know, like I did a lot of this and the food was amazing. One thing is Mombasa has got very nice food outlets that are so affordable. I hope you saw this and if you didn't, you can hop on, check it out. Friend. So after the food always came the workout by the beach. Let me tell you, holy gray. You work out, sweat, at the end of the day, you jump in the water, swim it out. It was pure bliss. Well, then I started touring the Kenyan coast, and this to be particular was Kwale County, the Shimba Hills National Reserve. I had a lot of fun here. Love. I'm losing my mind, feeling that kind of love. I feel and like then, talking about Mombasa Island and how it connects to the other parts of Mombasa County, I fell in love with these waters. It was beautiful. Here I was using the ferry and in the next clip, I had to do a review on the floating bridge. Yes, this is the Likoni floating bridge that was an alternative. Instead of people being crowded using the ferry, they had an alternative of using this bridge and a lot of people had opinions and I had mine as well. All these are in my videos from last year. I hope you can check them out. Still on the transportation in Kenya, I did a review on the standard gauge railway train of Kenya. Yeah, this is a railway station in Kenya and the video really got a good feedback from you guys and it was amazing. It was amazing. Uh, this was an upgrade, a lot to be done, but it was a nice one. Hope you check it out. This right here was Diani, yes, Ukunda, Kenya. It's still in Kwale County and whoa, I am in a tuk-tuk. These are like the basic modes of transport in the Kenyan coast. Like they can get you anywhere. It is well covered from the top so there's no much sun.
Right, so this right here was the shoot of my birthday and if you happened to like check out the video, because a lot of you did anyways, it was a pretty uh, significant time for me because I had come to a realization of a lot of stuff. Yeah, so I hope you check it out. Well, this was the big day for me. I don't know, guys, like, uh, does your birthday mean anything to you? I know some people don't really celebrate birthdays, but I do. I do, and I take my birthday so seriously, and I don't like parties. I just love spending time with myself and, you know, reflect on how I've been living, what I can change and stuff, you know, like how you can make goals. <laughs> sometimes we follow the goals through and sometimes we don't so it's a mystery but i loved creating my birthday vlog if you haven't checked it out you have to uh because a lot of you guys give me positive feedback from that particular vlog and that made me happy <laughs> Yeah, so throughout the whole thing, I'll say that it was pretty evident how much I loved Mombasa and the ocean and just, you know, unwinding, spending most of my days half naked by the beach under the sun. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, that was the last time I was in Mombasa, so I moved to Nairobi and this was the hub Karen. Yeah. So there was pretty good food here and it was amazing. I was just trying to like spend some quality time with myself since it was my last days in Kenya. And yeah, I loved it. I hope you do. Well, after all the transitions, I think this was like the biggest transition and it came as a surprise to a lot of people. Well, that's because it was a surprise to me too. Yeah, so finally I flew out. Yeah, I came to chase those dreams and you guys gave this video a lot of positive feedback. I don't know. I don't know if it was positive or it kind of earned me like a lot, a lot of false friends and enemies. But you know what? We move regardless, right? <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed the journey though. You know, it was my first time flying internationally and you guys saw me land in the red nation. Right here, I landed in Manchester, yes, in the United Kingdom, and I was out and about in the streets, uh, you know, it was pretty cold, you guys remember that was one thing I was crying about, oh, it's so cold, <laughs> yeah, it was freezing, and I loved the neighborhood, I loved the views, everything.
and this was the first vlog i did when i landed here i was in isolation and we were supposed to like do covid tests that is day two and day eight and the isolation time was 10 days this was not a walk in the park <laughs> And after isolation, uh, it was time for me to step out of the house and go to school for the first time. <sighs> Have you done something without anyone holding your hand? That was literally me. Yeah, but I enjoyed every bit of it. You give me something that I can give you here. Tell me what you're thinking. I need to know your feeling. So, with the cold weather came things I had to compromise. I did my first online shopping and it was on warm shoes. Can you imagine that? <laughs> and they were very affordable. And then came field classes. I made new friends more classes and more field classes you know so me and my jumpy self I could not sit in the house all through. So the first thing I did with this beautiful friend of mine here was visit the Lancaster Castle. Yeah, it is like a significant and monumental place in the city and it was, a, it was on our to-do list. So time was moving so fast and we had our first snow. Oh, I was so happy. I was so happy like a baby. So yeah, the snow came <laughs> and I did a video out of it. Like all these moments I'm highlighting, everything has a video on it. Can you imagine how my 2021 was? Pretty busy and documented. <laughs> And this day, apparently, I woke up, took the bus to school because I had a class, only to find uh, this body of lecturers striking for fair pay. I didn't know that happened here, by the way. <laughs> I only knew lecturers in Kenya strike. Apparently, this was so peaceful. Uh, the classes were cancelled and time to go home. Yeah, winter came and the trees shed all their leaves and the sunset always looks beautiful in this place. I always loved like just going out, taking walks, you know, it was refreshing. And this right here was one of the sweetest surprises from my best friends. I have a video on the same. But 
All that glitters is not gold. There was work behind the scenes and this literally murdered me. After sitting on the computer coding, which I was not comprehending, I always took walks and it was always raining. So I was just roaming just to like clear my head and stuff like that. So I went into the town at night because it's so safe. And then back to class, yeah, attended a few seminars, you know, trying to be well conversed with everything going on around me. And I thought it was amazing. Oh yeah, and I went and watched Spider-Man No Way Home. <laughs> Yeah, and this was the last day of uni. Yeah, I spent it around amazing people. And look at how the weather decided to greet my vacation. Can you imagine this? You are on vacation, no classes, no school. You are supposed to chill and have fun. And this is how the weather was looking like. Where can you go? Where can you possibly go with this weather? I was so frustrated, by the way. <laughs> So during a uh, vacation, I really got uh, some things to do, uh, part-time jobs, uh, which were pretty hard to find when I got here at first. You know, like everybody tells you, you need to get to the UK, you need to find a part-time job. It really doesn't come immediately. You take time, you put your documents together, and eventually you will get a job, but it doesn't come in the first day you land in the UK. So yeah. I spent uh, some quality time. Yeah, so I programmed myself and made sure everything was okay. So by the way, uh, towards Christmas, so the university kind of organized some free lunch. Say hi. And my friend was like, why don't we go? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And here we are. We went for the free lunch. <laughs> it was amazing. It was amazing. They made some good food. It wasn't only us who showed up. There were a lot of people showing up, people with families. And this was very thoughtful of the uni, by the way. Yeah, and a way to give back. Whoa, and I remember this was after Christmas. Yeah, we were just taking a walk with, a, with this beautiful friend of mine. And don't this city look amazing? It is ancient with a beautiful history, but then look at this. Music for the loop. Well, you guys, moving ah, to a new so place awesome. and you're alone is not easy. So I'm really grateful for the friends I made in this place, especially this beautiful girl holding the camera here. She's like a sister away from home, literally. And we spent a lot of time together and with other friends as well. And this right here is the University of Cumbria. Yeah. It's just like a throughway pass for us. We were just passing to like get to the other side of the hill <laughs> because Lancaster has a lot of hills.
end of the year, it's like New Year's Eve. I spent it, cooked some nice meal, and this is us in our normal circumstances. <laughs> yeah, it was my best friend's birthday right here. Yeah, she's born on 1st of January. Can you imagine that? And we had a lot of fun. We listened to music, cooked food, drank. Yeah, it was beautiful. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So please like the video, share if you can. Ask someone to subscribe. It's really awesome. <laughs> yeah, and I had a lot of reflections and I made a lot of promises to myself. I hope this 2022 can be a good one. Until next time, bye.